we were the most violent people like on board. I won't even lie. Aziz Adeshina Fashola, born the 10th of May 1991, known professionally as Naira Marley, is a British Nigerian singer and songwriter. He is known as the president of his controversial fan base, Marleyans. In an interview with Noise Vice, he claimed he is a gangster, and in a live video, he said he has been arrested 124 times in England. Four times in England, arrested, gone in the cell. You don't know nothing about me. I'm not, I'm not singing love song or slow jam song. I sing a gang music from early, man. I do not like anything about Naira Mali. Naira Mali is not a role model. Did you consider yourself like a like a bad boy though? Like, did you consider yourself a gangster? I'm still a gangster, you know. I'm a gangster. I won't say I was a gangster. I'm a gangster, you know. When you was a kid around here, did you witness gangster lifestyle still though? See people dying over cutism and setting the teeth on fire, you know, and I witnessed it. And like Nigeria, where I see it, and in like London, where I'm, yeah, where I'm going for it. So, Naira was arrested in 2019 on charges for cybercrime. Naira Mali on Monday, the 20th of May, pled not guilty to an 11 counts charge bordering on cybercrime and credit card theft leveled against him by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. <laughs> He grew up in South London as a member of the infamous No Manners Gang from Peckham, where he claims he's been arrested more than 124 times. When I was growing up, it was just gang, it was just stabbings, killings. You know, no one cares about nothing, just trying to break the law. Like kids, adults, everybody went to jail, you know, like it's just trouble everywhere. And you have to have it on you. It's better to get caught with it than got caught without it. Eventually, I started making names for myself, like doing the mad. My friends used to serve drugs to the owner of this place, yeah? Uh, there was a dead body that got found there with about 500,000 pounds. Well, the man who owned the thing died with the, the money next to him? Yeah. Fuck it, man. This is Queen's Road. Niggas know, everybody know. This is where it started. Everyone know about this band, though. You walk past Queen's Road, you have like a hundred niggas fixing, fitting through one window, screaming <laughs> like, hey, hey. But when you say this is where it started, though, like what, like what started? I said, this is where the no man has started. Police in Nigeria have detained the record label boss, Nera Marley, for questioning over the death of the fast rising singer Mobad last month. Waiting be this one like this. Been through many things, many, many years. Mobad deaths in unexplained circumstances on the 12th of September at the age of 27 led to an outpouring of grief among his fans and sent ripples through the multi-billion dollar Afrobeats music genre. Three months earlier, he had sent a petition to Nigeria's main criminal investigation department alleging assault and threats to his life by his former boss, Marley, with whom he had been feuding after leaving his label, Marleyan Records. Since Mobad's death, fans have marched through the streets of several Nigerian cities calling for a thorough investigation. Spontaneous memorial gatherings have also been organized in London, Canada, and the U.S., and the hashtag Justice for Mobad has gone viral on social media, while Nigerians await the autopsy report. We have to wait and make sure that the police do their job and enforce it. Particularly for me, I don't care what anybody calls me at this moment. I will fight until justice is done and justice is gotten. And that's what I want you to do. Forget about the side noises. Forget about things that would not elevate Mubad's, Mubad's uh, uh, what they call it, his, yes. his life right now. Thank his you. His life right now. All we are supposed to be fighting for is justice. When we get justice, you see... Popularly known as Mubad, who tragically passed away under mysterious circumstances, on Saturday 12, 2023, and has continued to make headlines and dominate discussions 
across and beyond the nation.